the Beck 365 Handicap Chase is next in. Uh, it's two and a half miles. Uh, and the top one is Pure Force for Craig Beckwith, Solway de la Mer, Alex Jerry, Kyle Ashley Adventure for James Shane, Grand Miles Kalapa, Martin Leadham, Grey Rose Bay, John Morgan, Teasel Scores for David Robertson, All Looks Good, Joshua Sutherland, Early Bird, Daniel French, Access Prospector. Hymns, Cabizas, Ruby Ass for Darren Thompson, Deep Reflection, T. Rogers, Cordes Oboe, Vinnie Gerard, Cleopatra for Paul Rhodes, and Mrs. Jody for Derek Hinton. So we've got two Cleopatras this season. I don't know why they go, let's hope they don't both get put in the same race. Well, that'll be a bit of a nightmare. Anyway, Solway de la Mer is the first one to show. Pure Force in second. Kyle Lachie Adventures third, and Grey Rose Bay four as they sort themselves out. Grey towards the back is Grandma's Calapa as they take the first and then all safely over it. And Solway de la Mer in the lead. As they skip over them. Oh, Grandma's Calapa has gone a crashing fall at the back for that one then. So that's your commentator's horse out of the race as they take number three. And Solway de la Mer and Grey Rose Bay come down to the fourth. Nicely, the grey now just going on into the lead. Grey Rose Bay from Solway de la Mer, then Pure Force and Cleopatra. And Early Bird is closest to us as they take number five. And another fall, and a deep reflection's gone. So we're probably seeing more fall in SO7 than we saw in SO6. We're certainly seeing less pull ups. Uh, we're also seeing the fields much more strung out, especially at the end. Well, that's just because one or two people are getting. So it's better than everybody else, I don't know, but I'm sure it'll sort itself out. And the back of all look good at the moment. A view of the horse in front, Cleopatra. And now we're on Grey Rose Bay as we come in to take the sixth. And you see Grey Rose Bay jumps up into the lead there. And that leads by about a length to Solway de la Mer in second. As they take this ditch. Remaining runners are over that one nicely. Grey Rose Bay in front. Solway de la Mer second. Early Bird is third. As they take the eighth. A slower jump by the leader that time. And a mistake towards the back by Access Prospector. There's still a fair old way to go as they take number nine. And they're all over that one okay with Mrs. Jody just the back marker. They come past the big screen then. They come past the winning post for the complete circuit to go. And a swing away left handed. Solway de la Mer is in the lead. Grey Rose Bay is two and Pure Force is three. Cordes Oboe is four and Cabas Rubis Ass is five. Then comes Cleopatra and Kailachi Adventure. All looks good. Teasel scores. Access Prospector. And finally, Mrs. Jody. As they complete this long run to the next fence. And Solway de la Mer is half a length to the good. Grey Rose Bay seconds to take this play. Well, it's the tenth mistake there on the inside by Pure Force. Also, Early Bird is dropping back through the pack a little bit as they take this ditch. And they're all over that one, okay. And Grey Rose Bay back in the lead. A bit of a ding dong battle with Solway de la Mer. For the leaders to take this next one. Oh, and Solway de la Mer made a mistake. So too did Cabby's ass, Ruby ass. And they take the thirteenth slower jump by the leader that time. Looks like a bit of a mistake made by Teasel Scores as well. And you jump in, catching one or two of these out. Early birds now. We're in a strange race, coming back through the pack again as they take that ditch. Oh, he's gone just as he was looking to get back into the race. He's chucked the jockey out the side door. And it's Grey Rose Bay and Solway de la Mer. Access Prospect has come from absolutely nowhere. Cleopatra is tucked in there nicely. Cordes Oboe were in a good race again. Then Cabby's ass, Ruby ass. All looks good, just lost his place a little bit. Then Kailachi Adventure, Teasel scores the Grey. He's wide on the track and Mrs. Jody for Hollywood Hinton is right out the back somewhere. So Solway de la Mer then in the lead. With Grey Rose Bay in second. Access Prospector third. This is the fourth from home, and over that one they go, and the leading three. We're in a bit of a battle now, Solway to the mare on the inside. The grey between the two of them is Grey Rose Bay, Access Prospector nearest to us. They jump the third last, and Grey Rose Bay got away from it better. 
He's about to nick up, but Access Prospect looks a big challenge. So what did Amir has dropped away? That's the final things. Grey Rose, the second last, sorry. And Grey Rose by Jolting much better than Access Prospector. He's about to nick up, but here comes Cabbies as Ruby has over the final fence. And Access Prospector jumped in better this time. Grey Rose by trying to fight back on the inside, but it's Aspect Prospector and Aspect Access Prospector is going to take it up towards one. Access Prospector and Grey Rose by then Cabbies as Ruby has scored his own, and all looks good. And then Pure Force and Teasel scores after that one. This is Jody crosses the line at the back and access prospector a better jump at the last one of that race really and the, fir the first five or three pretty close up so access prospector takes it for him grey rose bay for john morgan second cabby's ass ruby ass for darren thompson third Cortez oboe for vinnie gerard fourth and all looks good for joshua sullivan was fifth